five, six, something like that. And it was in Minneapolis, anime detour. And I think it was actually the first, it was the first con I ever went to. And it was a baptism by fire. Because I had no idea what I was walking into. I walk in and there are all these people in cosplay. What the hell is going on in here? <laughs> Who are these nymphs and dragons and the people with, you know, metal attachments to their body? And why is all of Raccoon City walking around? <laughs> so, <laughs> I walk in and first, this girl from like across the hotel lobby spots me. She's about 30 yards. It's a big, big hotel, big lobby, but spots me and just goes, and just starts running. She's like, <laughs> like straight at me. And Kyle Abair is standing with me, and I'm going, Kyle, 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 Kyle. <laughs> and she jumps and leaves her feet. She just goes, Woo! <laughs> and I didn't know what she was doing, so I just turned my shoulder and went, <laughs> She goes, Boom! I'm like looking down at her, I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I was trying to glomp you. Look at the hell is a glomp? I'm like, oh, it's a, it's a flying hug tackle. I was like, that was not a hug. <laughs> now, put your ears back on and get out of here. That was bad. So like, I think that everybody in the hotel that saw the flying tackle into a wall, Nobody tried to call me after that. <laughs> they come up and they're like, Mr. Whittaker? <laughs> that was pretty bad. I felt bad for her. <clears throat> I don't get clumped anymore. <laughs> kind of sweet. Yes. Uh, yeah. I have two questions. One of them I think you kind of answered, but um, what is your favorite show that you watched during, uh, growing up? Favorite show I watched uh, growing up? I think it was a, it would be right down the middle between Voltron and Thundercats because I had yeah. so good so good I had more Thundercat memorabilia and I only had like one Voltron lion I think I had two which sucks because that makes nothing I was like mom I got two lions I need the other three I don't think so, honey. I have an allowance. I was like, you don't get it! You got a leg and an arm! Come on! I don't even have like a full Voltron. I know, right? By the time like she actually got me the fifth one, they weren't in stores anymore. My childhood was devastating. Uh, yeah, Thundercats, Voltron, and I think that's it. I was terribly immersed in that though but i had no idea that like you know people voiced the characters i thought they were real i was like i'm gonna find lado one of these days he's gonna make me a cat and that's gonna be awesome i was not a smart kid yes super soaker wars how would a super soaker war go? Because you get wet, right? Yeah. So do you have to dry off between each battle to see who gets wet again? <laughs> you have like hair dryers? Like, like half time? Like... <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Food coloring. Super soaker wars. But die in the water. Die in the water. That's a good idea. <laughs> Uh, I can, you know, I consider just about anything, pretty much. Yes? I've heard that you have a lovely singing voice, but you sing at the bar. <laughs> I, uh, unlike Vic, I don't know, I don't have anything to sing. I don't, I don't, I actually have never sung in my life. Sing happy birthday! I don't have, I don't have anything to sing. I can sing that stupid song, the dog song from FMA. <laughs> Canine, how we salute thee. <laughs> That's the song. The funny part about that is, is that like it was a line on paper, and there was no nobody had any idea how to sing it. And they were like, just make something up, and that was the first thing I came up with. That.